Hi, uh, and here's a video, uh, a video about Tangerine Dream, which is a first, and it's gonna be the first of two that I'm gonna record in the next couple of days. The other one is gonna be about Tangerine Dream's back catalog and tracks I love, albums I love. This one is gonna be about Tangerine Dream's new album, Quantum Gate, the album that's got Edgar Fraser's final material on it, as well as material from the new lineup. So here for your delectation is me opening and exploring Quantum Gate. Got it through Pledge Music. I didn't realise that there'd been so many platforms for it being released on. I didn't know that you'd be able to go into a record shop and buy a copy. My impression was that it was pre-order only. So I did um, Pledge and thankfully it arrived Friday. <clears throat> but it's been a full-on weekend with the family. So I've not been able to um, open it. So let's open it and have a look. Just terribly exciting. Not got my tripod in the car at the moment, so I'm going to do this one handed and hold the phone. So, so yes, I'm doing this now because I'm away from the family. I've just made a car journey. I've got a 25, 30 minute journey back home so I can start listening to the album, that blessed first listen to a new album from a favourite artist. So, let's have a look. I don't know that. Wow. It's a signed one. I didn't realise I'd ordered a signed one. Fantastic. Okay. I hope it's signed inside. Yes, it's signed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's really special. Okay. A signed quantum gate. Wow. Okay. I'm really chuffed about that. I can't remember ordering a signed one. Anyway, so here we go. Quantum gate, tangerine dream. Track listing. Oh. And it's got finger of Edgar Fraser in the middle. Loving memory of Edgar Fraser. That's nice. Nice touch. Sensing elements, roll the seven twice, granular blankets. It is time to leave when everyone is dancing. Identity proven matrix. Non-locality destination, proton and proton bonfire, tear down the grey skies, genesis of precious thoughts. That's some very typical tangerine dream soundy track titles there. That's grand. Okay, so I need to open this now and start the engine and get driving back. So I will be back to describe what I think about this. Probably tomorrow um, when I can play it loud at home where there's nobody around, which is very enjoyable, you know. So thank you for watching this far and sharing my opening of a signed Quantum Gate CD. Nice one. Okay, I'm going to turn this off now, get driving, get listening. Hi again. Suddenly it's about five weeks later since I first got my copy of Quantum Gate. Um, so what on earth do I think of it? I've had a plenty of opportunity for listening to it. Um, very good on the whole. It's been 25 years since I've really, not really, uh, since I bought a brand new Tangerine Dream album and enjoyed it. Uh, last album of theirs I bought would have been this one, Melrose, uh, about 92-ish, maybe slightly earlier. Uh, no, 90. Okay. So, uh, going back 27 years. It's been a lot of discussion is can tangerine dream continue without edgar fraser yes indeed the great guy has gone himself uh, i'll be doing another video about the tangerine dream's back catalogue um while he has gone his essence very much lives on in the music it would take a lot to re-hook me onto tangerine dream when raccoon came out i was working in our price music at the time um Loved the job, but I didn't love Raccoon. I thought, no, I'm not buying another Tangerine Dream album. Um, and I kindly, kind of ignored them. So, Tangerine Dream, Quantum Gate. Bonfire night, nearly. 
So Quantum Gate. On the whole, there are tracks in that I can happily skip. One of my tests for music that I really like is, do I really want to listen to it again? Like, do I want to press the skip button or do I want to back and repeat? There are three tracks in it which I will happily repeat. The others, if they are there and I'm not able to move them, I enjoy them, but I'm happy to skip them. Um, but that's not to comment that they're poor or rubbish. I certainly don't want to skip them. Not if they don't come on and think, oh my God, I've got to get rid of that. They just come on and think, meh. Um, some of it reminds me of sort of Berlin School of Electronic Music in its format, um, very long form pieces. Um, if you're not familiar with the Berlin School of Electronic Music, founded by Tangerine Dream, uh, and typically very long tracks with ambient soundscapes and emergent sequencer rhythms. Uh, there's not really any ambient soundscapes within this, but if you know Berlin School of Electronic Music, you will quickly recognise that influence on some of the tracks. Three standout tracks for me. Granny Le Blanc, it's track three. Identity Proven Matrix, track five. And Proton Bonfire track 7, which is my, can repeat, ad nauseum, ad infinitum. No, not ad nauseum, so I don't get sick of it. Ad infinitum track. Um, for me, Proton Bonfire has heavy feelings to do with the uh, love on a real train track, which Tangerine Dream have in the Risky Business soundtrack. And also... Parts of it remind me of the track of White Eagle. Um, it has that, that soothing, healing vibe to it. Um, and I can just lose myself in it. So, everybody will have their opinion, and that's fine. This is my opinion. Tangerine Dream Quantum Gate is a return to form. There are three tracks on it which I really like. But for me, continue the essence of Tangerine Dream that pick up where I feel Tangerine Dream really left off 25 years or so ago. And while having elements of stuff from the 80s and some of the form of the Electronic Berlin School of Electronic Music from the 70s, embraces the technology and production values of today. So it's a big step forward. I will be keeping my ears out for future Tangerine Dream albums, um, it's really very good. So if you're hesitant, go and try it on one of the online platforms, something like Spotify, and even if one or two of the tracks just scratch your itch, go and get it, because it's a grower. Um, some tracks are instant for me, and others are growers. Um, when I think back to some of the classic back catalogue of Tangerine Dream, some of the albums... I bought just because they were electronic music and that's what I liked as, as a teenager and then they grew on me and now I love them so maybe in 20-25 years time <laughs> I'll be listening to this obsessively and thinking oh wow it's so amazing they don't make music like this anymore um, it's good so Quantum Gate Tangerine Dream get a thumbs up from me